Hi, welcome to the first Q&A vlog and today we're going to talk about Romeo and Juliet, Shakespeare's play which is considered as one of the greatest love stories ever told. Okay, so uh, before we begin, uh, let me just give you a, a background of why I'm doing this. So every week, for summer class we have some texts to cover for every module and this week we're talking about european literature and since kanang taas man kayang coverage taas kayo ang mga plays taas ang kanang sana kanang like for example divine comedy so i decided nga to help the students i'm going to make a vlog so all those questions nga dili all but then if there are some burning questions nga magdiki sila sure sa ilang answer or if they think kanang they, they would appreciate my opinion then money uh, I'm creating this so they provided the questions and I chose the top five okay for Romeo and Juliet so these students whose names will be mentioned because it's their questions will of course have extra points for participation all right so congratulations for asking good questions okay so let's start with the first question so this one is from Aryan Joy Rebocchio so her question is, uh, what inspired Shakespeare to write Romeo and Juliet? Okay, so let's start with the background. Okay, so not much is known about Shakespeare's personal life. But uh, according to Wise, the best source of information is right in front of us. And that is his works. Those are his works, his plays and his poems, the sonnets. And, uh, so he thinks... Wise thinks that the links between Shakespeare's life and his work are closer than is generally assumed and you know his works contain clues so when it comes to to Romeo and Juliet um, the basis actually the primary source text of this play is Arthur Brooks the tragical history of Romeo's Romeo's and Juliet so nana she ano nana she kind of precursor text and Shakespeare basically follow the plot and even the characters but of course there are some deconstructions and then mga changes and the changes actually some of them show the links to his personal life so say for example um, Sunny, the tragical history of Romeo and Juliet was set in Christmas okay setting near Christmas However, in Shakespeare's play, he changed it to mid-July, all right? Why? Because that's around the time when his son, Hamnet, died, okay? So that's why many scholars believe that Shakespeare wrote Romeo and Juliet to grieve over the death of his son, okay? So yang it changed to mid-July, okay? That's around the time that he died. And then... Uh, it's not only the time of death, but also take note that Juliet is the youngest heroine that he created. And he often alluded, he often referred to her youth in the play. So how old is Juliet in the play? She's only around 13 and not so much. Mag birthday siya mga two weeks later after sa kanang sa start sa play. Ano? So she's the youngest heroine and, and she's around the same age as Hamnet. So, Hamnet was only 11 years old. But the reference does not end there. Because there's also a character who doesn't appear in the play, but is mentioned. Who is this character? This is Susan, the, the nurse's dead daughter, and she's believed to be Juliet's double. Nanaman, because she was born on the same year as Juliet. However, she died when she was just a baby. And this is believed to be the name is believed to be in reference to Susanna who is Shakespeare's daughter so who was sorry okay, wala naman siya. who was Shakespeare's daughter but Susanna can uh, in 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 real life kwan si Susanna she grew up to maturity namin si Susanna okay so that's just the reference the name okay yeah that's why many believe because of those connections many believe that Shakespeare and the nurse may be one and the same because diba, it's the, the place is also for is for him to grieve over Hamnet's death. And there's a, a line there when wherein the nurse says, Well, Susan is with God. 
she was too good for me all right that's in act one scene three okay so in in that line it's like shakespeare was saying that hamnet was too good for that for them so he has gone he had gone back to god and okay so the next question is from shirelin how do i read this one shirelin and sai okay so and sai actually posted um, several good questions not just for this blog vlog but also for the two others that I'm going to to be making this week so uh, I only have to choose one all right so uh, okay para matagana to chance ang uban okay so her question is why is Romeo and Juliet a tragedy okay let me talk about what tragedy is okay Aron makakuan mo nga, ah, tragedy day siya because of these things. Naman gawin characteristics ang tragedy as a dramatic form. Okay, so first, kanang, <clears throat> there are two types of drama, generally, two types of drama. Then the other types fall under these two, okay? But they can also be a combination. So, there are two types, comedy and tragedy. Okay, so a tragedy deals with tragic events and they, 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 uh, it always has it always has an unhappy ending so nadyo na mamatay especially one concerning the downfall of the main character so it's not only nga na mamatay but there's the downfall of the main character so according to Aristotle in his Ars Poetica all right, he said nga there are two things that are important in a tragedy the role of the tragic hero okay and the plot okay so the tragic hero is always someone who is noble who is admired so just like romeo diba at the beginning of the play the characters nga ni admire niya right even lord capulet says nga romeo is a courtly gentleman oh diba even ang ang patriarch of the opposing family Kay nakabilib ni ano nakabilib ni Romeo. So tasyag esteem, tasyag ka ng ano, nindo siya reputation sa ilang society. But he has a tragic flaw. So iyahang attitude nai nai something. So what is that flaw? It's called hubris, which means excessive pride and causes the hero's downfall or catastrophe. So uh sana asa 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 dapita napakita ni ano ni kinsa ni, ni Romeo ang iyang pride actually inanay mga gagmay nga hints especially for example katong sa balcony scene gingan siya ni Juliet nga kanang lakaw na dito kay makit makitaan niya ka na kanang sa iyang family niya mapatay niya ka niya ningon si Romeo nga ah no kanang kanang even their swords gonna keep me away from you he said something like that so kanang ano siya ba kanang kanang confident ka just yang kaugalingon bitaw nga makasukol lagi siya bala pag ano patyon siya na and of course kanang the biggest ano yun evidence of kanang his excessive pride is the point where he ano where he killed Tibal diba kay wa na jud niya na control yang self in anger in retaliation in revenge kay gipatay ni Tibal si Mercutio wa na siya kanahon naglain pa yan ang gipatay dayon diba na ginukdanay na dayon sila patay na dayon so that causes his downfall kay na banishment siya and then in renaissance italy banishment is like kuan uh, sana kanang life imprisonment mo na siya ang marag pinaka grabe nga punishment nga mahatag sa usa ka tawo dili ang imprisonment kung mabanish ka mas grabe kay at least may imprison ka nara ka sa inyo city ma visit ra ka nya sa imprisonment sa banishment sorry sa banishment di na jud ka pwede mo balik ana sa tabla ra ano na ostracized na jud ka sa inyo hangko and kiver na jud ka sa city dapat if mo balik ka sa city ninyo if like for example si Romeo moto ni ng prince if makit-an siya balik sa Verona pat yun gid siya Okay, so mao to ang paan, consequence mo na. But then, but then, ang plot said, according to Aristotle, will contribute to the downfall of the hero. So mao to nga, di ba na, sa Act 3, Scene 1, wag yun niya na, wala dyan choice si, ano, si Romeo kay, di pangita man yun siya di Tibalt kay, nga nung attend ka sa amo ang party gabi eh, di ba, nang si Tibalt, aray di rin, mag, mag ano ta, mag, mag-duel ka, mag-sword mag fight. So, inaanabit ako. 
So, na, nabutang siya sa situation, si Romeo, nabutang sa situation nga, wa siya ka ikyas. Okay? So, nagi na something sa plot, nagi plot twist nga, maka-decide ang, ang hero, ang tragic hero, maka-decide siya out of his hubris. Okay? So, butangan you check something na So, bright kay Shakespeare, no? So, that's why, Romeo and Juliet is a tragedy. And of course, unhappy ending. Grabe, fit kayo lang ending, di ba? It's a double suicide. Wajud ang anga. Alright? So, Romeo, nag, ano, nag mo poison. And then, si Juliet, nag, koan, nag, asa na? Nagduslak siyang kaugalingon with a dagger. Ana. So, that's why it's a tragedy. And by the way, in, in a Shakespearean tragedy, there are two parts. Okay? Dili siya tragic sa sugod pa lang. Like, very clear yun siya. That's also what makes kanang Romeo and Juliet kanang kanang, sana, kanang special ba? Okay? Nganong, nganong, ano siya, nganong distinct siya from other tragedies kay kanang, klaro ang distinction, klaro ang kanang two parts sa, o sa Shakespearean tragedy in Shakespeare, in, in Romeo and Juliet. So, what are the two parts they are of a Shakespearean tragedy? The first part is comedy. Okay? So, uh, from Act 1 to Act 2, comedy pa siya, di ba? Lingaw-lingaw, na pa party na-introduce ang mga characters, ano, nagpakatawa ang nurse, nagpakatawa si Mercutio, mga witty nga mga ano, exchanges, inana, nindot pa siya. And then, starting sa first scene of Act 3, dito na, climax na na siya, Act 3, Scene 1, and then, ano na, dayon, kanang, sana, kanang, down, downward spiral na dayon ang action at sa falling action until sa ano until sa ending so comedy first and then from the climax down to the ending ano na, na siya that's the real tragedy na niya daghan nag mga matay na starting with mercutio na patay then si tibal and then si paris pa jud na patay pa jud siya before before naghilo si romeo and then romeo and juliet at the end so kanang dagat patay di ba sa second half of the play okay so that's why it's a tragedy and then sa sa kwanda uh, according to scholars uh, sana sa kanang among among Shakespeare's plays sa Romeo and Juliet na klaro kayo ang ano ang ang division ba ana betaw kay inunsad kay sa like for example kita ko King Lear bugat naman kayo first scene pa lang dan sa King Lear gi Yano naman gi disown naman sa king ang iyahang iyahang daughter si Ganeril. Oh, si Kisa to. Sorry, I got it wrong. Kanang katong basta katong ano iyahang daughter nga ningon nga kanang basta wa siya kauyon sa panbay nga iyang daughter nga I will love you nga as you are or something ana. Uh, I forgot the lines basta kay uh, kana ano bulatik man gud kay tog answer ang iyang mga duha ka anak nga ingon siya nga iyang tagaan og part sa iyang kingdom, basta mo sultig, unsa niya ka love ang iyang papa. Mo to, dag ko kay sila mga bahin niya. Ang katong niya ang third nga, yung youngest niya nga daughter, kay di man siya ka-measure ba sa iyang love sa iyang papa. Kaya murag, ano siya bang, anong imo mga ipamasure na ako? Kaya mo to, nasuko man ang king, kay syempre na ano, na, natandog yung garbo. So, gi, gi ano niya, gi, gi disown niya yung anak. Imagine, first scene pa lang na, na nangimpas na ang, ano, ang king. So, wala wala kayo ikay ka nang ano kayo ikay ka nang space ang comedy bitaw sa like atong sa King Lear nya sa Hamlet sa first scene pa lang dan patay na biya to ang papa so nanay problema dan si si Hamlet ana bitaw nya sa Romeo and Juliet at least murag kalma kalma pa ang sugod so man ang nagi distinction from comedy to to uh, night, night transition day from comedy to tragedy ana sa Romeo and Juliet okay so, Arita, sa third question. Oh my goodness, third question ata. So, <clears throat> third question. Okay. What's the difference of Romeo and Juliet from other tragedies? Okay, this is from Crystal Zapanta. So, actually, nasugdan na nako ganyan, no? On say difference. So, katong sa differences sa katong sa Hamlet o sa King Lear sa, koan, sa Romeo and Juliet. So, aside from that, koan, Aside sa katong development sa plot niya, katong distinctions between or transition from comedy to tragedy, Romeo and Juliet is also a love story. Good ka ng romantic, good siya nga play, romantic tragedy, good siya. 
So, nga no may, compare ni mo sa King Lear, wala man kayo yung romance. Kita, kita na ko ka ng production sa King Lear online. Ka ng, wala kayo yung romance. Ka ng, it's, it was really about ka ng power, politics, nga ka ng, ka ng a father, bitaw si King Lear, he's a father, nga marag, wag yun niya nasabtan kung unsa yun ang father ba, kay King biya siya. Di, wag niya ma-distinguish bitaw kung kung unsa yun na yun king, kung unsa yun ang pagkapapa, na dito nagsugod man ang problem ni King Lear. Nga din sa Hamlet, food, it, it's about politics, yeah, criminal investigation, kay gusto ni Hamlet nga ka ng ma, ma, ano yun ba, ma-proven yun nga yung uncle may nagpatay siyang papa, kay ipadamgum to siya siyang papa, di ba nga kinsay no patay niya and how he was killed and nga na ay gyan nga nga poison sa iyang ano si Indonggan and then Macbeth also is about politics and power nga si Macbeth ug si Lady Macbeth ilang gipatay ang king para sila na ang king and queen so ano siya kanang really about kanang mga mga taas bitaw nga high mga themes like politics power and na kanang the downfall really of kings and clan and princess but then sa Romeo and Juliet backdrop lang na ang tanan okay it's really about a star-crossed lovers okay ang focus good is ang 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 two teenagers nga si Romeo and Juliet mo na siya nakalahi instead of focusing on people nga like katang, kay, like for example si sa Romeo and Juliet kinsa may person nga equivalent nilang Macbeth si si Prince Iscalos but kanya ang papa papa po nila sa family si si Capulet o si Montague, si Lord Capulet and Montague. But dili man sila ang focus sa sa play. Ang focus kay si Romeo and Juliet. So that's why according to Wise, Romeo and Juliet is Shakespeare's most anomalous tragedy. Kay nga naman, instead of the the characters being active contributors to the conflict, they are instead victims of the conflict, victims of fate and rash behavior of their elders, kay di ba? At the beginning of the play, away nang to, man, nan, nan to away niya. And in fact, if I think somebody asked also in the post nga, Mom, what's really the the reason why nag away ang Montague ang Capulets? Actually, it's never mentioned in the play. It's like the 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 conflict has been has been going on for too long. Nga wa na ni matter ba ang ang reason bitaw unsay sinugdanan? But most probably power struggle gihapon kay kana sa makita na nato sa next question nga no man unsa may involvement gyud sa power struggle nga makita nato sa Romeo and Juliet but kan lang siya kan part lang siya sa backdrop ba okay pero naka fuel gyud siya naka fuel gyud siya sa decisions sa duha nga magpakamatay di ba okay but of course we're not condoning su- suicide here okay kanang kanang nay problema pahitag pagi di ba kanang naduot lang gyud to silang Romeo and Juliet nga ano man naduot sila well hopefully the the answer in the next question can help so this question is from Jaime Abatayo and this is uh, this is her question does Lord Capulet love his only daughter Juliet when in fact he uses insulting language that highlights his disgust and forcing her to marry Paris Okay, actually, di lintak kung tubag ani because number one, it's a yes or no question. Okay, so let's stick to kanang kanang questions nga ma-explain. But anyway, kanang even if yes or no ni siya question, it requires an explanation. No, kay tas tas ni siya subidahun. So let's talk about the the historical context. Nganong nganong inato si Lord Capulet? It's because of the social cultural context at the time in Italy. So, what's the family like in Renaissance Italy? It's the it's a very important part of society. Okay? Probably even more important now. So, nga naman, the family in Renaissance Italy dictated most of the major decisions. Okay? Especially of the children. Especially in marriage. So, that's why na sila arranged marriage. Just like si Juliet, gusto nila maminyo ni Paris. Nga naman, people did not marry for love at that time. Sugod-sugod pa lang to. Maybe only a few people lang. Nga kan. But then, most people at that time married for financial and political reasons. So, just like ni Lord Capulet, gusto niya maminyo si Juliet ni Paris. Because si Paris is a relative of Prince Escalus. So, noble 
noble birth, de ba? Noble ang lineage. So gusto niya nga kana jud nga tao. Okay? Nya nag nag-contest nang gusto si Mang Tagyog si Capulet long long time ago. I don't know ngano ka. Wa ba sila nagilog ni Lady Capulet kay gwapa hon ba si Lady Capulet no? So gwapa sa kay si Juliet, liwat siyang mama. Basin gaaway sila ana. I don't know. We cannot really say. Kay wa man gyud siya gisulti. But then, yeah. So mo tong grabi si Lord Capulet kung makapangasaba siya ni Juliet. Hapit na lang jud grabi. Kay tong sa globe Koan, Globe Theater nga production sa Romeo and Juliet. I hope you can still watch it in YouTube. Krabi jud kay makapangasaba murag murag mo tay pinaka powerful nga Lord Capulet nga akong nakit-an nga performance compared to like katong 1960s nga movie o even katong sa katong ay Leonardo DiCaprio. Basta katong sa Globe Theater mo tay makaingon jud ko wow kanang Lord Capulet jud kaayo ba nindot kay pagka pagka characterize ba daw nindot kay pagka internalize ang 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 role so mo na isog jud kay siya kay siya man ang head sa family he's the lord di ba the lord of the household nya mo na ina na siya ka powerful in ana ka powerful ang patriarch sa family sa sa Renaissance Italy nga ang kontra sa imuhang papa kontra na pud nimo nya kung ikaw servant ka mao to na nay nagaway nga mga servant sa sugod sa Romeo and Juliet kay ang kontra sa imong amo kontra na pud nimo o inana na siya so very strong ang family mura na pud siya gamay nga kingdom bitaw inana so kanang mo na ilang gipugos niya aside from that kanang unsa na during this time pod Women, women were married as young as twelve years old. Okay. In fact, Lady Capulet told Juliet, "By my count, I was your mother, much upon these years, at the same age that you are now a maid." That's Act One, Scene Three. Okay. So, by my count, I was your mother, much upon these years, at the same age that you are now a maid. Imagine. O si pasabot anak. Mama na ko ni mo. Ngayon, ana akong edad, mama na ko nimo. How old is Juliet? 13. Wow. So, kung nanganak siya 12, di ba? Pag 13 niya, nanan siya baby. My goodness, nanan siya baby. Kung namabdo siya 12, by 13, nanan siya baby. Ngayon, kung 13, 13 si Juliet, so 26 pa yung mama. Ngayon, yung anak, mga, ma, ano nasa, gusto na po nila, mami niyo. Ano ba tao? Pinaspasay kayo sila, mami. Ang sagot to, Sunday. Sunday, nananghit si Paris. Nya by Thursday, hindi ito, Thursday morning or Wednesday, ano na, gusto na nila nga, makasal na ito, di ba, pinaspasay ang show. Kaya ano man, it's not about marrying for love. If if the price is right, come on. Ah, na sila, di ba? Grabe, pulbaan sa ta. Pero, well, anyway, that's their society at that time. And they have reasons for doing so. So we cannot really blame them. That's how they survived. Okay? And that's the structure of their society. So it's, it's quite interesting as well, di ba? Okay, so last question is from Richelle Alolor. Her question is this: If you were to change the end of the story, how would it go? Okay, let me tell you this because I studied Shakespeare. I'm studying Shakespeare actually for my, I know, master's degree thesis, and I must say that the ending is quite tight. Tight in a way, ngan na justify ni Shakespeare ba ngan? Mao gud na dapat ang ending kaya ngan uman. Kanang, di ba, next story na ta about sa background ng anong nagpakamatay mo to sila because like si Romeo banished na siya, di ba? Wa siya kabalo nga, di man gusto patay si Juliet. But anyway, considering nga patay na si Juliet, banished na si Romeo, tabla ram sa chuchak patay niya. Labi na kay ni balik na siya sa Verona. Pat yun na magud siya to ni ni Princess Carlos, di ba? Pat yun siya sa mga soldiers. Dayon, aside from that, in terms ni Juliet, ano, di ba? Nanagoy na hitabo nila ni ni ano ni Romeo. Very ano ba sila? Very religious nga society. So, tabla ra siya diyang mapatay. Nya, I'm sure nga if may balan to, ano, dili na siya pakasla ni Paris. Anyway, patay na si Paris. But yeah, it's very tight. Murag murag nasakto jud ang mga panghitabo bitaw sa sa dagan silang panguna-huna na justify ni Shakespeare nga considering their their world at that time. But then, if I were to change something for, for the for the fun of it, if I were to change Romeo and Juliet's ending, I would start at the point where there was a miscommunication. I wish, makaingon man jud ka, di ba? If only, if only Romeo received the letter from Friar Lawrence, things would have changed. So that's actually the the last critical plot twist 
nga kanang kuan hitabo sa Romeo and Juliet. From that kuan kanang time nakahimo si Romeo wrong a decision because of misinformation, de ba? So if only he received it, then perhaps magilop sila ato, de ba? Ngano wala man na dawat ni Romeo? Kay si Friar John nga mo ipadala ni Friar Lawrence sa message na quarantine kay na may plague na pay pandemic adili pandemic di ba kay di man to global but na plague so na na quarantine si Friar John nga si Bal mo to si Baltasar na kauna so unsa na nimo nga si Friar John nagdangke <laughs> sa movie di ba si sa kang Franco Zeffirelli nga version si Friar John nagdangke Nya si Balto Tassar nagkabayo. O sa kisa may mas dali. Alam mo na. Nya na quarantine pa yun si Friar. So, saan na lang na ni Munso. Wala d'yod. Wala d'yod. Nadya'y something sa plot. Mato. Nadya'y plot twist nga. Makainunjog ka. It really led to the downfall of the tragic hero. Mao na siya. Magtaba nung tato sila kung wala pa. Diba? Mao na. They could have lived. They could have lived a different life. A new life in Mantua. Okay. Dito man na ano na exile but who knows diba what if what if nasakpan sila sa tomb niya mo angko na lang sila nga kasala sila siguro mag siguro mag mag uli ra pud ang parents sa capulet nila sila capulet og montague they will never know kay tagas pa sila mga pride good no so siguro mag uli sila but then napadjay bloodshed napagud to siya last battle siguro kung nangabuhi man guys si Romeo and Juliet diba so anyway for me kanang tight tight na kayo ang kaan niya. Besides, sa, sa flow sa plot, basta mo agi na good ang climax, dapat paspas na dyan na ang downfall sa, ano, sa tragic hero. So, dili pwede i-extend ni Shakespeare or else, maboring na ang play. Diba? So, he made the right choices. Okay? So, I hope that you enjoyed and learned something from this vlog. And if you still have questions, you can post them down below. Right? Bye! See you next time.